Hey guys, welcome back to another creepy video compilation. Before we start, help me get this recommended to others by hitting that like button and make sure you subscribe so you can keep seeing videos just like this. These guys saw a girl that had been missing for years. A teenage girl named Carly Gousset sneaked out one night with her boyfriend Donald to a friend's party. In the party, Carly would do an unknown drug that would cause her to have immense paranoia. <laughs> this caused her to frantically flee from the party and call her stepmom to pick her up. Now in the house, the stepmom didn't take her to the hospital and that would be best to keep her company and wait out the effects. But in the morning, Carly was gone. She had ran to the outskirts of town according to some witnesses. From that day, Carly was never seen again. Now, eight months rolled by and YouTuber Joey Mac was dirt biking with his friend when they see this. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Carly can be seen walking barefoot and they both stare at each other. But Joey mentions he got weirded no out so way. he left. His friend says Carly ran towards him when he passed by, but he kept going. Now when they get home, they call the police, but sadly to this day, she hasn't been found yet. I bet that guy feels so bad now. I think I would actually feel horrible if that happened to me. That first one, I thought that was it, bro. That dude is so lucky. You gotta go home and kiss your wife, kiss your kids, kiss the guy that saved you. Oh, that's a video. Yo, that is so many ants. So there we are, some ants in Masaymara. It's amazing how they walk down this rock. Oh, that's just so many of them. <laughs> like, the little beast <laughs> migrating across the river Mara. Oh no! And he's standing so close to them too. Oh my god. I cannot imagine getting stung by all those. There's a very famous painting that shows what appears to be men in crafts flying through the sky. It's throughout history, there are these indications of crap. But like, you know what I'm talking yes. about? Like, look, yeah, look it's how incredible. it's like a plate turned on its side, and then there's a person inside yes. of it. Above her left shoulder, there is an object, and if you really zoom in, look at the dude staring up at it, and everything is intentional. Like, yeah, here man. you got Christ being crucified, and then above him, UFOs. That is so strange. Like, I think there's even stuff that resembles like modern day helicopters and Egyptian hieroglyphs, which is also super weird. Somebody explain that to me. Because I'm sorry. I believe. And there's no changing my mind. Sandstorms in the ocean, or wherever they are. Damn, zero visibility. Looks like somebody probably uh, woke up the mummy or something. Shut it down, shut it down. We don't need these things, bro. No, 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 no. James Cameron was onto something, bro. Somebody's building these robots and then the AI that's being made and you got Terminator. Why are we making these? This is stupid. We should not be making these. Oh, shit. the fucking train just came down on the blade. Oh, oh no. my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, you better get a move on. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. 
hopefully dude's okay and hopefully the only thing he lost that day was his job jesus that is a scary situation dude it is a very good thing he had his window rolled up that thing was going for his throat man i've watched a different video that that's a reoccurring problem in india is that they just have jaguars that are straight jacking people man <laughs> the hell did i just watch was i supposed to see it because i didn't see anything let's see what the uh comments say a homeless man in the bush constipated and fighting for his life got messed up by a half asleep person with boiling water yeah never mind uh the top map shows mysterious cases of people having vanishing without a trace the bottom map shows america's largest cave systems so you can see a lot of these like dots here match up yeah, a lot of them are lava caves, a lot of them are limestone caves, and then here's all the people that have gone missing. A lot in the Appalachian yep. Trails, or in the mountains. Uh, a lot in, like, the a Pacific Northwest, so maybe... Trails, bro. Maybe it's Bigfoot. A lot of the cave systems, if I remember, are in the Eastern Asia. Oh, this is in the U.S., too, by the way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> people go into these cave systems ignorantly and with no preparation on how to actually survive in a cave or how to even just be in the cave. Even, like, creepier, I should say, is what if there's something in there snatching all these people up? It's, it's wild to think because you go on a hike. Oh, cool, here's this really cool cave. We're going to go explore it. I've done that here at Red Rock. Now, what if there was a creature at the end of it? Yeah, dude. America has some vastly large cave systems, especially in uh, Virginia, West Virginia, areas like that. And lots and lots of people go missing. I wouldn't say Bigfoot. I'd lean more towards UFOs, to be honest. What the hell, bro? Rich people be doing too much. Quit adopting monsters as pets, bro. Hey guys, I'm in the Florida Everglades and I'm calling up the swamp puppies. This one really wants to taste my feet. Look at him. He is so ready to eat I've me. I've seen this dude's videos Good before. thing he's just a he little one. Out of his I'm mind. out here looking for the 20-foot Burmese python, and I found this big swamp puppy sleeping. Tried to wake him up, but he wasn't budging. No. All of his friends were awake, though. Check this out. They are everywhere. Nothing new. You gotta watch your step. There's venomous cotton mouse everywhere. Check out this panther chameleon. This is a big boy. Yoink. We ended up catching five of them. Of these rare and valuable lizards. Leopard frog, yoink. <coughs> you definitely don't want to step on one of these dusty pygmy rattlesnakes. This basilisk is giving me a kiss. Check out this huge green water snake, yoink. He ended up giving me a kiss too. Check this out. Right on the knuckles. Little tropical orb weaver. Boop. Yeah, man, this dude is. He is out of his mind. No. <laughs> he better be glad he just captured a, an actual funny moment that could have gone so much worse. This is a photo that was found on the ground outside of a convenience store in Florida in June 15th of 1989. And that picture to this day has still gone unidentified. They said that this is not your daughter. They did some type of forensic examination of the photo and they were they came to the conclusion that that was not her daughter. The boy in the photo was thought to be this kid named Michael Henley who went missing also in 1988. 
which was a year before. Um, and if you look at these pictures side by side, yeah, you can see where the similarities come in. But once again, the cop said that's not him. What's crazy is that neither Michael nor Sarah have ever been found. And that picture to this day has still gone unidentified. It has never been identified almost 40 years later. Bro, that would make me so mad if those were my family members. I would be like 90% sure that's them. Yeah, th these usually bum me out. I'm actually scared to walk down this Dude, street. This looks like fucking Skid Row, but for monkeys. I bet this <laughs> business literally had to be abandoned because of the monkeys. Yeah, this Skid Row for monkeys. Fur. That one is picking his friend's bum. Dude, it's a turf war. He's coming to fuck someone up. Look at all of them down here. They could attack from above. They're everywhere, they dude. Could, like, see? Dude, kid. <laughs> the monkey tried to grab the kitty. Look, they're trying yeah. to grab the cat. <laughs> the monkeys are riding the cat. It looks funny, but that is actually terrifying. Those things probably have so many diseases. Uh oh. This dude has some serious cojones. That is a big no for me. Get to the. Get to the. Get to the. Get to the. My dude's just looking for a Coca Cola, man. Polar bears are the most aggressive. This dude was looking for food and he found it. You know, if you cut and place 10 stones a day, yeah. it would take you 664 years to make the pyramid. There's. 2,300,000 stones in the Great Pyramid. I more and more think that it's very likely that the entire world experienced a cataclysmic disaster yes. around 11,800, yeah. 12,000 years ago, yeah. somewhere in that range, yeah. and it knocked us back into the Stone Age. Dude, but yeah. those people who were around before that yeah. were probably more sophisticated than we are. We're thinking of technology only as technology that we've implemented yeah. but it's possible there was a completely different branch of technology yeah. and they had figured out something that allowed them to manipulate enormous stones yeah. we just haven't figured it out yet. i mean just even if it turns out that all these conspiracies are fake it's just a crazy achievement i feel like a lot of people don't understand just the size of those uh stones that they that they were moving and stacking and like it, it's just crazy the engineering that went into the pyramids Terrifying things found by YouTubers. In 2016, a YouTuber that goes by the name Exploring with Josh decided to explore a deep underground cave with his friends. Everything seems to be going fine until they find something strange and unexpected. As they explore deep into the cave, out of nowhere they find a missing girl. They help the girl out of the cave and she gets reunited with her parents. It's unknown how the girl got that far into the cave system, but it would have definitely been a terrifying experience for her. Yeah, I remember seeing this. Uh, it's not that serious. The girl was in a, in a group tour with her family and was separated from them. It wasn't very long. She was, it was only a couple of minutes. And I guess these guys were next in line and they found her. Wow. Trying to save on that delivery fee, I see. The amount of times I've actually seen this in real life, though. I, I've seen this a couple of times. And there it goes. Yeah. Yep, that, that was stupid, man. That was very stupid. You could have hurt someone. Do not do what that guy did. Don't do it. I'm 
They went from cheering to full panic mode. Were they standing on something connected to the structure? Because they went into full panic mode so quick, dude. This town is haunted by the Mothman. Welcome to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, home of the Mothman and the world's only Mothman Museum. The story of the Mothman started in 1966 when a couple reported seeing a large winged creature with red eyes. Over the course of the next year, sightings of this terrible creature terrorized the local citizens. The story of the Mothman came to its horrible conclusion on December 15, 1967, when the Silver Bridge crossing the Ohio River suddenly collapsed, killing 46 people. Immediately, rumors began to spread that the bridge collapse was caused by the Mothman himself. Comment below if you think we should go to Point Pleasant and look for the Mothman. Every state here pretty much has its urban legends, because I think uh, North North Carolina had a blue devil, and I know Texas has the goat man. Goat man seems like the scariest one to me. Imagine you're laying on the beach, and this thing starts crawling towards you. Yo. <laughs> My dude has a death wish. That's all I can say about that. I really don't understand why people do dumb things like that. No, bro. Wow. <laughs> no. You turn around and go the other way, man. That looks like the beginning of every horror movie ever. She was literal inches from being decapitated. Dude, even even the carnival rides here, they, they are so sketchy. Oh, yeah. Yay. This guy's getting devoured. That's pretty gross. Sometimes crabs pass in our trap underneath the water. And you know how we roll. We've got a little weekend at Bernie's thing going on right here. You know? Look at this guy. Unfortunately, they pass in the trap. And when they pass in the trap, they kind of get devoured by sea lice. So we're going to pop some tops. See what we got going here. Bro, I didn't know sea lice was a thing. Oh, yeah. Yay. This oh, guy's getting devoured. That's pretty gross. Yeah, these sea lice are gnarly, dude. They actually, th look, maybe we can hold it up to the light again and see if they're inside the leg, but David got one earlier and there was actually sea lice inside of his leg. You could see it just eating the thing from the inside out. Let's see that tank again. How gnarly. That is, that is so disgusting, bro. Yeah this right in here and it's all sea lice they're all just pretty much eating this thing from the inside out it's oh crazy. my god but you know how we're rolling the friendliest catch let him go no feed <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to release i did not need to know about sea lice uh that was gross camera recording Giant spider's trying to sell you some car insurance or something. Mm. Yeah, it's like, that's one of those tic-tac ones. 
Yeah, that thing was moving quick. Those birds were lucky it didn't, it didn't just completely annihilate them. <laughs> Is that the same spider from, from the, the ring doorbell? It's the same spider from the ring doorbell, man. It's harassing him. See that again. I think that actually might have just been something hanging off of the branch. Either that or a duende. A secret UFO retrieval program within the U.S. government. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will. Uh, it's probably not the right parlance, but uh, no kidding, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. This is actually happening just today, and I'm kind of excited about that one. But I'm always iffy about videos or whistleblowers because it always turns out to be a lot of smoke. We never really get any actual evidence. This last video is not creepy, but I just found it really amazing. It is a 90-year-old deadlifting 405 pounds. Getting old doesn't mean you gotta become weak. Look at that. Yes. You're back. Hi. You're back. Good for you. That is absolutely amazing. And I am so happy for that, man. Well, that was the video, guys. Thanks for tuning in once again. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, every single one of you is awesome. And I appreciate all of you guys. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.